Lara Croft is officially in Dead by Daylight. In today's video, we're going to be playing as Lara Croft and using her three new adept perks, Finesse, Hardened, and Specialist. Finesse activates while you are healthy. Your fast vaults are 20% faster. I believe you have a custom vault animation for this as well. And it goes on cooldown for 40, 35, or 30 seconds after performing a fast vault. After unlocking a chest and cleansing or blessing a totem, Hardened activates. Any time after that point that you would scream, you instead reveal the killer's aura for 3, 4, or 5 seconds. And finally, Specialist. Each time you open or rummage through a chest, you gain a token up to 3. When you do a great skill check on a generator, you consume all tokens, and for each token consumed, you reduce the maximum required gen progress by two, three, or four charges. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Enjoy. Okay, we are in on Badham Preschool with the new character, Lara Croft from Tomb Raider. Looking amazing. Right, we are going to try and get as much value out of her adept perks as we possibly can. But first, I want to show you the vault. Look at this new quick vault. <laughs> It's so cool. I love the animation. It only happens once every 30 seconds. There is a cooldown, so I can't do it again. <gasps> oh, no. Not a skull merchant. Oh, no. Not a scully. Not a scully. Not a scully. That's fine. We'll leave. <laughs> Somebody DC. Sheesh. Beautiful. Right. I need to try and open a chest, if that's at all possible. I'm hoping there's one downstairs in the House of Pain. No, <laughs> there is not. Lara's scream is so loud. Oh my goodness. I thought it would be best to only use her adept perks just to get a grasp of like which sort of perks are good to use or which perks maybe I would need to use for like a build or surround the perks in a build. Go on, hook this gamer. Okay, they're behind us. That's fine. I'm going to go down into basement and open the chest down there, assuming nobody else has yet. Nope, they have not. Perfect. This enables one of the perks. I can't remember the name of which, but we shall find out. Oh, we got a dull key. Right, what, what perk was that then? Specialist. When you perform a great skill check on a generator, consume all tokens. So we're going to hopefully go sit on a generator and basically put ourselves a little... Perk specific brand new part on it, which would be pretty cool. Let's go quickly unhook this gamer. I'm not going to heal you. I'm going to quickly go and see if we can hit a great skill check and then what it does. I'm assuming it works the same way as a brand new part. And it stacks based on how many times you open or rummage a chest as well, which would be pretty cool. Perfect. Yeah, as you can see there in the bottom, next to the repair, it has basically given us less charges before we can complete the gen. That's pretty cool. That seems like it could be coming in quite handy. If you could pair that with something like pharmacy or plunderers as well, just so you can see where, where chests are and get to them a lot more efficiently, open them quicker, for example, that'd be super helpful. Shiny coin, the new meta. I'm currently looking for a, uh, a totem at the moment as well. Is there one back here, maybe? No. Oh, finally we found a totem. Perfect. Okay, I think we need to cleanse one of these. We've already opened a chest, which I assume stacks with the uh, the use of the other perk as well. So after this, we should get uh, our other perk enabled, which means if we scream... Yeah, so the right-hand perk lit up. And I believe... Let me just double-check. Uh, yeah, anytime you would scream, reveal the killer's aura for five seconds instead. Very nice. All right. That is all of the perk value enabled. We are on a roll here now. Let's go get ourselves involved in a chase or something maybe now. Oh! Yeesh. This way, this way, this way. Why are you sandbagging? Ah, yeah, you sandbag me. <laughs> what? Why are you going for me? Oh my goodness. A oh, quick Voltmer. <laughs> Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Back off! Yeah, you tell him, Lara. A quick vault there. I love the 20% speed increase. I don't know if she's still chasing us. She is indeed. Okay, that's fine. Oh! 
Oh, lovely palace, son. Oh, she went out the other end and, <laughs> and down them. Oh, she's behind me. She's still chasing me. He wants my guts. Oh, can't get a gen. Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Why? Oh, maybe she's just trying to two-hook everybody. That could make sense, to be fair. Fake it. Okay. Fake it again. <laughs> we don't make it the second time. Fair play, fair play. I love that they've added voice lines on Lara Croft's character. That's so good. Wait, what? I... <laughs> I'm being brought off and back onto the hook. I don't know if this is true or not, but it sounds like they've got the uh, the exact same uh, voice actor for Lara Croft in the in the Tomb Raider reboot, which is, I believe, what this character's based off. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Are we doing a cheeky 1v1? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, I got you. All right, you ready? Boom. <laughs> We're off. We're doing a 1v1 with the Scully. Yeesh. The trouble is, I can't go down here. Gonna have to hold W. Uh... Wait, no. <laughs> Alrighty, next pallet. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. We hold W there, lovely, beautiful, brilliant. Kim, 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 kim. Hey, we're not done. We've got like two more pallets. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, she swung. Oh no! <laughs> Go on, break it! Yeah! Let me let me go around this other side here. Don't, oh, she might catch up, actually. I don't think I can make it anywhere. I can't use my... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Get the vault! Okay, we're nice. We're chilling. Uh-oh. No, we're not. <laughs> Do I make it inside? No. Good chase. Good chase. <laughs> she seems chill. I think she looks pretty much identical. Like, she looks perfect in comparison to her, like, character design in the Tomb Raider reboots as well. <laughs> I get the feeling they're coming for me, are they? GG's, though. GG's, Scully. Okay, so overall, what do I think about the perks? What do I think about the character? Finesse, I think, is going to be used a lot. I think that makes a lot of loops and a lot of tiles... Way, way safer, assuming you can get the fast vault in, which is almost a trick in itself, especially on certain tight angles. You have to, like, kind of change your angle to get to the vault to vault. I think if people can hit their fast vaults, that is going to make so much of a difference, especially early game, trying not to get the first hit against something like an Oni. This will be super powerful against. The only downside, obviously, is the cooldown. 30 seconds can be quite a long time, but I think that is reasonable. Uh, we'll have to see how much it gets used. I reckon they might even lower the cooldown to like 20 seconds uh, if it doesn't get used a whole lot. Hardened, where you have to basically activate the perk by opening a chest and cleansing or blessing a totem. It's kind of a one-time requirement, so you have to go out of your way to do a secondary objective before you can then use the perk. But then, as far as I'm aware, it stays up the whole game. Uh, it would work really well against a killer like a doctor, uh, maybe a couple of other killers that make you scream as well. It's a good aura reading perk, but I think unless you're going to be screaming against certain killers that can make you scream a lot more, it's not going to be entirely useful and also requires you to be doing other things besides gens at the beginning. So it slows the gameplay down a little bit. And finally, specialist as well. I think this is a very useful perk. I think 
The only trouble that I can see with this is that a lot of people, if they're going to be running something like this, they'll probably end up bringing, if I have the offering, I do not, a shiny coin offering to add an extra two chests into the trial. So stacking the shiny coins and then bringing something like appraisal and pharmacy in to be able to open chests quicker could make this a lot more viable, but I don't think it's going to be too crazy. I think this could definitely contribute to helping towards getting rid of three gens that people are trying to hold as well. Either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Let me know if you enjoy the fact that Lara Croft is in Dead by Daylight now. I think she is an incredible addition. She is pretty much the epitome of a survivor. I think she looks amazing as well. And I hope they release a load of cosmetics alongside previous or future iterations of Tomb Raider alongside her Dead by Daylight release. Be sure to leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you are new. Turn the notification bell on for any future uploads from me. I'm trying to hit YouTube partner at the moment, so any other videos that you can watch after this one would be much, much appreciated. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care.